Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijou Tail Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make this stylish Super Duo Beads bracelet with seed beads. It's easy to make and I'm showing step by step as always and I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make it by yourself. If you want to support me and see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button and in this way you will know when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. And down there in description you will find a full list of materials, links where you could buy supplies from, link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. You could always support me by liking, sharing and commenting and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. So now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are two colors of 11 o seed beads and this is chameleon color, this is gold color and I use one color super duo beads or also called twin beads and they are two whole beads. And I have links down there in description where you could buy them from, okay? And here I use a clasp, lobster claw clasp, you could use other type of clasp. And here I use a jump ring, this is monofilament, that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters. This is size 10 binning needle, scissors and these are pliers. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and now I'm back with an arm span of thread on my needle and I'm going to take one seed bead. I will slide it down almost until the end of this row. And I will make here a loop around it. I will use it as a stopper bead. Then I'm going to take one of these two hole beads. Super Deuce or Twin Beads. Okay, now this is what I have and I'm going to take two more of them. So you could take three in one step, okay? Then arrange them guys like this, one in one direction and the other two in different direction. Okay, then I want to go through the empty hole of this outside bit, okay? I'm exiting out of this hole and going through the other empty hole then I'm going to take one more and I'm going through the empty hole of this bit and when I pull you see I have this diamond shape here okay and what I want to take here is one seed bit and one of these beautiful two hole beads. I will slide those down. Okay, I have this. Now I'm going through its empty hole and through the uh, this golden bead and also if you can in one movement go through the next three the next three beads, okay? Now guys, I have this and here what I want to take are three seed beads, then I'm going to take my clasp and I want to take three more seed beads. Okay, this is what I have and I will go here through these beads in this direction reinforcing my work and I will go one more time through all of those beads in this direction Okay, and I'm here where I would like to continue this work. 
And what I want to take here are two more of these beautiful super dual beads. Slide those down. Okay, and arrange them like this, like you did in the previous step. Okay, now go through the empty hole of this bead. Exiting out of this hole, go through the other one. Take just one more. And go here through this twin bead in this direction. Super do or twin bead. Okay. Then what I want to do is go through these beads this direction. Okay, and at this stage it's a good idea to get rid of your tail thread because it will be on your way otherwise. Okay, I cut it. Now what I do is that I take one golden seed bead and one twin bead. Slide those down, go through the other hole of this bead and take one golden, then one more time through this super dual bead, and then again through these two beads. Okay, and I will show you one more time, two of these beads, slide those down, arrange them like this, go through the empty hole in this direction. I'm exiting out of this hole and I'm going through its other empty hole in the other direction. Take one bead of the two hole beads and put it here. Okay, then in this direction, like this. And one more time I'm showing you. Okay guys, and I'm going to continue this until I have a bracelet that's long enough for my wrist and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you how to continue. Okay guys, and when I continue beading this is what I have. I have a bracelet that's long enough to uh, put it on my wrist. Okay, and now I'm here and what I want to do is add 6 golden beads. Okay, I have my six here and then I'm going to take this jump ring and as I'm exiting from one of those holes, I'll go through the other one, just like this. And I want to reinforce this part here. Okay, and here I'm going to do an additional step in order to reinforce my work and also to reposition my thread and I'm exiting here out of this hole, you see guys, of this twin bead, okay, 
I'm exiting out of this hole here and now what I want to do is go through the other hole okay and what I want to take here is one golden one chameleon and one golden and as I'm exiting here from this hole remember I repositioned my thread and I'm exiting out of this hole here I'm going in my next twin bead of its empty hole then again a golden chameleon a golden exit here golden chameleon golden go here and now guys continue doing this until the end of the, this side of the bracelet and I'll be back to show you how to go to the other side okay guys and I'm here almost at the end of this row and I need again golden chameleon golden and I'm going here through this empty hole now guys this is what I have one side of my bracelet is ready okay and now my thread is not enough to make the other side that is why I'm going to make a knot cut it and add a new one okay let's say I'll do this here and I'm making here a loop and I'm going once then I'm going second time through this loop I've made and I pull and then what I do is that I go through the following seed bead like this and I'm going to cut my thread now I'm going to put a new thread on my needle and I'll be back okay guys and now I have a new thread on my needle and I will put it here by go here through those two beads between those two beads okay pull and here what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making my knot by making here a loop and still holding my tail thread and I'm going once then I'm going second time through this loop I've made and I pull now guys what I want to do is go through some beads in this direction because I want to reposition my thread and start the other side of my bracelet okay I'm here and I'm going here through this chameleon to hold beads like this and this here is my tail thread and I'm gonna cut it because otherwise it will be on my way all the time okay I'm cutting it now guys what I want to do is go through the empty outside hole of this bead the same bead here so I went like this and like this and I will take a golden a chameleon a golden okay and I'm going through the next empty hole just like this a golden a chameleon a golden go through the next hole okay guys and I'm going to continue this and when I go to the other side and I'm ready I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last beads from this row okay like this then I want to reposition my thread and as I'm exiting from this bead here I'm doing the following thing I'm going here through these two beads in this direction ok 
okay and I pull then I'm exiting out of this hole here and what I want to do is go through these two beads in this direction and my goal is this golden bead here okay now I'm doing additional step taking three seed beads and as I'm exiting from this golden I'm skipping the chameleon bead and going through the next golden okay now I have this and my next goal is the next golden and I take three goldens like this skip the one in the middle and go through the next golden three golden beads okay skip the one in the middle and go through the next golden and exit out of the following golden okay and continue these guys until the end of this row and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you how to continue okay guys and now I'm here where I'm adding my last three beads from this row and you see I have these beads attached here and now guess what I need to do I need to go to the other side of my work okay I'm repositioning my thread one more time here okay now I'm exiting out of this golden bead here like this and what I need to do is three golden beads skip the one in the middle and go through the next three beads exiting out of the next golden and repeat these guys from the other side of your bracelet okay guys and when i continue beading this is what i have i'm adding here my last three beads from this row and don't worry that your works bends at this stage because we're going to make an additional thread pad to fix this problem okay and um, now I need to reposition my thread like I did before. Okay, and I want to go at the other side of my work. Just like this. And I'm going through all of those beads that I added here. I'm here at the top and I go through one bead in this direction to the center. Now here I take one seed bead and I go in the same place. Okay, like this. Then again through these beads, through these two beads, the top bead that's sticking out the most and this one that's after it and then I take one seed bead and I go here again in the same place I'm just zigzagging like this to make my work stay nice and tight okay and what I want to do next After I finish this row, I will fix this row and when I'm up to here, I'll be back to tell you how to finish your bracelet. Okay guys, and I'm here at almost the final step of my work. You see how this works really nice and does not bend at all when I go with this additional thread pad, okay? And I'm adding my last seed bead here, like I did before. And I did both sides by adding these beads between my elements 
and so I didn't show you this because I showed you so many times how, how I transition and uh, how I reposition my thread okay if you forgot you could just uh, rewind the video and see how I'm doing this and now I will make my last knot cut my thread and my bracelet will be ready okay guys and now my chameleon super dew beads and seed beads bracelet is ready it's easy to make as you see if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will be notified when i make matching jewelry to the ones that i have already done and if you like what i'm showing you here it's a good idea to share your work on my facebook page and I will be so happy to see your creations and share them on my community tab on YouTube. You could always check, check down the description and you will see where to buy supplies from, uh, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.